Mm, well, time is running out. Many of you have to find that perfect Mother's Day gift. Yeah, Nicole Brewer is here with a look at what mom really wants. Yeah, you know, with 86% of us Americans celebrating Mother's Day this weekend, the National Retail Federation estimates we'll spend $23.1 billion or $180 per person. But a new survey says it's not about what you give, but why you give it. My mom is 36 years old. She likes to do yoga. Many of us think we know our moms pretty well. So when they open our gifts on Mother's Day, we're expecting a certain reaction. A big smile, I think more importantly than anything. Be happy and excited. She's really surprised and it's something she really wants. Still, a recent survey by Groupon found 40% of moms may be feigning their enthusiasm. Oh, <laughs> no. I think I can say I've had that experience before. Among the top five fake reactions. Oh, I love it. I needed one of these. So how do you decide what to get your special someone? 66% check with siblings and 55% try to outdo them. We definitely are in a little bit of a competition. Turns out the way to her heart is simply revealing yours. From homemade gifts to something sentimental. Mom surveyed said even a card goes a long way. It's more about like taking the time to spend time with her. The simplest things sometimes are the best things. See, my mom is special because she is the best. <laughs> Thank you. And no matter what your approach, the survey found, we all share one thing, and that is gratitude for the ways in which these women have impacted our lives. You're here. Hopefully You're here. everyone here is on Amen. board and has a gift for their mom. Yes. Indeed. If Indeed. not, you know, get it quick. Get, get, <laughs> get on it. Get right. Thanks. <laughs>